Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yasudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Today I thought I will share with you a very interesting article that was published in this month's issue of the journal Clinical and Experimental Dermatology. I was very happy to note that it was from Mumbai with Dr. Durat as the lead author. Amazingly, it advocates the use of common salt for the treatment of pyogenic granulomas. Pyogenic granulomas are commonly seen and benign proliferations of blood vessels occurring in all age groups. Even though it's not cancerous, it is prone for recurrent bleeding and can cause significant anxiety. In this publication, a total of 50 cases were assessed based on clinical and dermatoscopic examinations. They were treated with commercially available table salt from a freshly opened package. White soft paraffin was applied in the perilesional skin to prevent irritation then sufficient salt was used to cover the entire lesion. Small pyogenic granulomas were covered by a plastic cap filled with salt. If you have any small plastic bottles with caps, using their caps may be an option. This creates a mini reservoir to make the treatment more effective. The area was occluded with surgical adhesive tape. Patients were instructed to follow the same procedure at home daily and asked to keep a dressing dry until it was changed the following day. The results were amazing. Complete resolution of the lesion without any residual scar was seen in 100% of cases. The mean time for complete resolution was about 14 days. Lesions on mucosal surfaces such as the lower lip resolved faster than those on the skin. A statistically significant correlation was found between the size of the lesion and the time taken to complete resolution. So the bigger the lesion, the longer the duration to time of resolution. The majority of patients reported the decrease in the bleeding tendency of the lesion as an immediate response occurring a mean of 3.7 days into treatment, followed by a gradual reduction in the size of the lesion until complete resolution. This was an example of a pyogenic granuloma on the right palm. The middle image shows considerable resolution after 28 days of salt application with a small nidus remaining. In the last image, there was complete resolution with no residual scar after 35 days of salt application. Another pyogenic granuloma on the upper lip with complete resolution after just 8 days of salt application. A further pyogenic granuloma on the tip of the right finger with complete resolution after 12 days of salt application. Surgical intervention here would have been tricky due to the sight on the tip of the digit. Not many adverse effects were noted. Difficulty in salt application was reported by two patients who had lesions on the labia majora and on the ear respectively. A mild burning sensation was experienced at the time of first application in 10 patients who had raw pyogenic granulomas, secondary to recurrent bleeding episodes. One patient developed an eczematous eruption in the surrounding area which was managed with an emollient. No secondary infections was encountered. The idea of using common salt for the treatment of pyogenic granuloma was inspired by its use in umbilical granulomas, which was reported by Smith et al. in the 70s and 80s. It is suggested that the presence of salt inside the occluded environment creates a hyperosmolar chamber, which results in shrinkage of the pyogenic granuloma. Common salt is potent, cost-effective, and widely available. Exactly how to apply the salt has to be individualized based on the site and size of the pyogenic granuloma. In this study, the patients who reported difficulty in salt application had lesions present on sites such as the genitals and the pinna, resulting in inability to self-apply the dressings. It was observed that the longer the period of contact of the salt with the lesion, the faster the resolution. This study suggests that common salt is useful and effective in the treatment of pyogenic granulomas. It can be a serious contender, especially for certain populations like children. However, it is essential that the correct diagnosis of pyogenic granuloma is made and confirmed by the dermatologist. Salt treatment can be carried out at home with periodic checks if required until it resolves completely. For patients reluctant to undergo any surgical procedure or having lesions that are recurrent, maybe a pinch of salt is all that's required. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.